Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Server Gyan. My name is Dr. Lokendra Singh and today we are going to discuss about cron job scheduling. Now what is cron job? For example, if you have such a task which you need to execute at a proper time and at the same time on daily basis, maybe there is a particular command which you need to run uh, hourly, maybe every three hours, maybe every five minutes. So how will you do that? So for doing such kind of tasks, the task like there is a process which is known as cron tab. So for uh, doing for checking whether you have program cron tab uh, installed or not, so what you can do is just type a command cron tab dash l. If this command works, it means there is a proper package installed within your system, and you are able to set cron job, cron job. Now let me show you that what type of cron jobs do we have and what are the fields of cron job. So there is a file known as cron tab. So cron tab is a system wide uh, service. Anyone can use it. We can deny, we can allow couple of users that who can allow, who is allowed to have cron jobs, who is denied to uh, execute cron job. So everything we can do here. First of all, we need to understand the fields of this particular. So these are fields. It means first of all is M. M4, it means these are, these are the fields of minutes that when this command is going to get executed. Then after this is R. It means what hour of the day. So this works into 24 hours format. So at what hour this will work. This is DOM. It means date of the month. So when this program will be executed, this is MON. It means month, whether this will be Jan, Feb, March, April, May, June or whatever. This the last field is like DOW. It means day of the week. So 0 and 7 are considered to be Sunday. The rest of days are like 1 starts with Monday, 2, 4, Tuesday, 3, 4, Wednesday, 4 and so and so forth. So this is how you can consider it. So 7 and 0 are considered to be Sunday. Now what user is supposed to execute the command and what command you want to execute. So this is how we set the cron job, fine. So what we have understood so far is like minute, hour, date of month, month of year, day of the week, user and command. This is how we execute the command. So now based on this, like uh, let's take a couple of examples. And before that, there are two main files which I need to tell you, uh, like what are the files. So vim slash etc cron cron dot deny. So this is such a file cron dot okay so there are a couple of files first of all like cron dot daily so so what are the files which are getting executed on daily basis for example past load if we check so if we check this file so what is happening here so where backups exit zero for a file in past load g shadow these are the files so if the file then continue if file exists cmp compare then uh, existing file dot backup to file it means so what we are doing here is we are taking backup of these files and we are comparing it with file dot back so if file does not exist then uh, etc file it means these files like password group shadow g shadow so these files are backed up fine so that is it so in the same fashion like we have couple of more things here like if we want to talk about m locate so m locate is a command which is used to check like uh, how many files are available within our system for example if you install a new package so there has to be one command which is known as uh, update db so this particular command is executed when whenever this particular cron job is working so based on that we can and as we see that this the location of this command is under daily so whatever uh, file names you see here like log, log rotate dpkg apt compact so whatever files you see here so these files are executed on daily basis fine now let us talk about that if we want to set a cron job so what we need to do here is cron tab hyphen l if we run this command so we will check that how many crons are available if we need to set a cron, cron job so what we need to do, do here is cron tab dash e, e for edit. So now it will ask me that when and how you want to set the cron, fine. So how I'm going to set this, first of all minutes. So I'm going to set it here zero, 
then after minutes so i let, let us say that minute is zero then after r it means i want this to be executed at 2 am then after date of month when i want to execute it for example i want this to be executed on daily basis so i will place one star here asterisk i will place then after what should be the month so i want that it should be executed on in the month of october then after what should be the day for example i say that it should be executed every sunday so and what is the command maybe if i want like i can uh, mention username root and what is the command i want to run a command here echo and maybe i can print the message hello whatever i want so i can print down the message fine now what is the second so what does it mean that zero minute two hour it means two in the night every hour in the month of october on sunday this command will get executed so for example if i want that this command should be executed on daily basis and every minute so what i can do is asterisk 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 and asterisk so if i run this command and after that if i copy and paste the same text so it means this command will get executed every minute every day every month and uh, for sure every minute it will run irrespective of rest of values so for example i want to give you one more example here that i want one command to be executed every five minutes so asterisk less five it means every five minutes this command will run now what would happen next is i want this to be executed every three hour it means first of all i will mention one it means one o'clock then after three o'clock then after five o'clock then after seven o'clock i want this to be executed at this particular time then so minute and hour section is completed now let us come to day so like date of the month so i want this to be executed only on first and 15th it uh, okay so uh, first and 15th so this command will get executed on first and 15th then i want it is completed the i want this to be executed in the month of november so i will mention 11 here then maybe i want this to be executed on daily basis day, uh, irrespective of any day so whatever day lies on day uh, like uh, first and whatever day lies on 15th i do not want to uh, think of that so i have mentioned here as three now what next i want to run i want to do i want to run this command fine now what what do i want here is for example i want to run a command sequentially but in a different manner like i want that this command should be executed in such a manner that the command should get executed from 1 to 10 it means first 10 minutes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 if minutes are these then after the time is maybe i want this to be executed from 1 to 7 so one in the night and seven in the morning so uh, obviously this time i want this to be executed now what do i want here is uh, i have mentioned hours then after i want this to be executed from uh, october to december so this command will run in october november and december all three months are there then after so so what I have mentioned here like minutes are date then after okay so this particular second like uh, date of month so I have months uh, here I have mentioned here month then after I want to specify when when it should be running like I can specify asterisk and asterisk here to asterisk I will specify it means date and month I want to specify any so it will run when when the timing will be 1 to 10 minutes then after it will get executed on some like uh, from 1 to 7 am uh, then after date of month will be 10 and 12 if the date is 10 and 12 then it will get executed month will be any and day will be any then after i can specify this command or whatever command i want okay so what if i want only the same command to be executed if the day is sunday so how, how will I mention it? So for example, I want to specify this command like 
one it means when the minute will be one or i want to specify as one then after i want to specify a streak it means date of month should be any month should be any but day should be sunday so i can specify this command like this so i will copy and paste this so every sunday in night 1 am when minute will be 1 hour will be 1 so this command will get executed fine so now what i want here is so what type of like uh, syntaxes we have covered so we have covered so far is like this particular minute then after hour then after date of month then after month of the year then after day of the week so sunday we have mentioned so either we can mention 0 or we can mention here 7 if we want to do it on sunday fine so now there should be one more situation that i want this to be executed maybe every 30 minutes so what i'm going to do here is asterisk slash 30 every 30 minutes it will get executed then after asterisk slash 2 every 2 hour this will run then after next field is date of month so what i am going to spe specify here is that from uh, first to 10 it means uh, first 10 days this command will get executed and month should be december and day could be any or maybe if you want this to be executed only on sunday so you can execute this and after that you will mention the username and after that you can execute the command whatever you want so this is how we can start using our cron tab and this is how we can uh, set our cron jobs so now i'm going to save this file it will ask me to save it fine if I want to check the crons which I have implemented so these are the crons which are implemented by me before a moment only so now if I want to check whether the particular cron which I have mentioned so whether this is working or not so I will go to slash where log and cron tail minus f if I run here a cron let me check whether cron service is running or not Plus etc init.d cron status so cron is running so yes if you check here so user root command is executing this one so every minute if you check this one so your particular cron job will get executed and this will be printing logs every minute it means the cron which i have executed so that will be printing every minute so if you see here the time 720 and uh, like this particular time then after a minute then it got executed at this time then after if i wait for a couple of more minutes then it will get executed once again so i can check it that what type of commands are getting executed fine so uh, what else we can do here is for example if i want to remove all the crons so i will run a command cron type dash r but I'm not going to run this command because if I run this command then I will have to implement the same cron jobs once again. So this is how we can set our cron jobs. This is a very important question for interview because usually people try to ask that uh, how do we set cron jobs. So there are a couple of more files I would like to let you know that first of all is let us go to slash etc and then after let us uh, type cron cron and if we check here so cron.d if we go within this folder so there are a couple of things first of all is mdadm so this particular uh, job is going to get executed so what is happening here so if the time is 57 in the night because it is 0 0 means 12 in the night then after is asterisk asterisk it means every day and uh, every month then after if the day is sunday fine so this command will get executed so it means usr share md item check array if this command gets successful then rest of command will get executed same here if you check that uh, rest of thing like if you want to check 
about weekly cron dot weekly so what are the things what are the things done on uh, like daily basis sorry on weekly basis so you can check man db so man db is updated on weekly basis so if you want you can move this file to daily basis or maybe on monthly basis so whatever you want you wherever you want you can set your file there in the same manner if we check here if we go back and we go to cron dot monthly if we check here so couple of things uh, couple of things are there like placeholder is uh, the file which is available so that's the thing which we can manage here and we can mention so i hope this is it for this video guys thank you so very much for watching have a good time happy learning from, uh, from server again if you have any further question regarding cron, cron job so please do write in comment box i shall be happy to assist you thank you so very much for watching this happy learning please do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you